Hello again everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 26 of Baby Gut Scraps. So I was going to combine this with my off the board, but if you've seen my off the board layout, I had to use two pieces of 12 by 12 to complete the off the board um, pin that I had chose. So I could not. <laughs> Go me. So I am going to, once again, do a project in my December album. It is starting to get full, which is super exciting. I did go through all of these back here and pick out what um, style of page protector I wanted to use for the sizes and then threw the pictures in. So none of them are in order. I just made sure that they made, they worked with the the insert that I was using. So we're going to work on this one today and it is of two photos of B. So one of her, this is how she, this is how she lays in the garage, um, in the man cave with my husband. That's him sitting there. I apologize if you can hear myself in the background. He is video gaming. It's like crazy. Um, that's how she said she curls up behind him or she lays right here, but she was like way snuggled into his, you know, behind there. And then this one is her sitting there while he's laid back and he kept doing this to her whisker and she kept winking and smiling at me and it was funny so he just kept doing it. So we're going to go ahead and document those. I'm going to do one on each. Two four by sixes. I'm going to pull in just the six by this paper pad. I might actually grab something from the 12 by 12 but because they're not like uh, here's my thought process, okay? And I might be wrong, and you guys can tell me, which is totally fine. But it is a Christmas series, but like this. You could use this for non-Christmas, okay? You could use this for non-Christmas. You could use this for non-Christmas. You could use a lot of these for non-Christmas layouts. And it's just really beautiful. And I'm thinking that I, and they're, they're kind of, you know, most of them are reading as a solid, you know, so it could be a good base page. It's kind of what I'm thinking. And I still have, you know, and obviously I'm going to use up a lot of the embellishments as much as I possibly can. Um, the only thing that I'm probably going to have left is these stars, which I just didn't think about when I bought them. Um, they're really not that thick and I might try to get them. I might just pull them out because I need to use them. And then all I have is the stencil, you know, and the stamps, and um, this is my How to Kill a Kit. So I do want to try to kill this off. So if I can kill off a lot of that smaller paper pad, that would be gravy for me. I would be very excited about that. So that's my goal. Um, just kind of use up this stuff and see what I can get done with that. If I don't use it up, I obviously have the 12 by 12 and I have tons of Christmas to scrap. Um, so I'm not really concerned about having too much left over in case you were wondering, because I can definitely use it, and I will just carry it over into next year as well. So we are going to play with this, and once I run out of these papers, um, then I will actually work on, um, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, work on using the, uh, the 12 by 12. That took a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I just, you know, that's it. I've made the decision. I'm going to use this blue one um, and cut it in half and use both sides. So that should actually be the exact size I need. <laughs> cut her in half. And then I'll have one in one. Pick out some of these embellishments. And I definitely want to actually, this time I think I'm going to focus on getting some of these words on there and some of the chipboard. So that's my goal. I'm going to get this all started, and I'll come back and show you my progress. Okay, you guys, I totally forgot to hit record, but I decided to go with this card that was um, from the Coco Daisy um, December planner kit, and I just went ahead and stuck Bee's little picture up here, did a little bit of embellishing, um, I put that, yeah, little bell on there, but the puffy grateful and the puffy together, three puffy dots, and then just a little twig and some washi at the bottom. So I did use some of those. And then I took this chipboard frame and 
protect that little dear Santa all kind of wonky because I was, you know, just trying to get a little bit of wonky here and there. And then we're just going to go ahead and figure out how to get B kind of over here. And I just want to kind of tucker, well, them, I guess. Just kind of like so. And see what we can grab from here. I kind of like this little love this or love that. Pop that right there. I'm definitely going a very simple in my December album. Um, just because that's, I think that's kind of pretty much how I always do it, you guys. Um, I always definitely tend to go a little bit on the um, simple side for my just December albums. This says worth sharing because. I feel like it's cute and it kind of goes with what we're doing here. So we've got that on there. I don't know any of the chipboard to kind of bring in. Um, let me grab some of my glue. Make sure I ain't got any. Ain't got. That was some proper grammar. Oh, let me tell you what. I'm just going to. Pop in, let's just pull this out, a whole bunch of these little um, snowflakes, I'm just going to get them popped around both of the layouts, and yeah, so today is a hop for Baby Got Scraps, you guys know that, and it is day 26, we are almost at the end, I did um, double check. We go for 30 days and on the 31st day we'll do a layout share, which I will do a layout share on the 31st anyway, um, for my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And I haven't actually decided. I think I'm going to maybe toss in like all the layouts that I got. So like it will be, here's what's left of my kit. Here's what I got created with my kit. And then here's all the other layouts that I created. Um, in January, I was just talking to uh, a couple scrappy friends and definitely decided that, uh, you guys know, December was like crazy month for me. I was like four a day, you know, two, three, and four a day. And I was like, I'm definitely going to take a break in January. And somehow in January, we are at two to four a day <laughs> on layouts. So, you know, maybe February, maybe February. But a lot of them I like, I like to participate and I like to get the memories recorded. Um, and then it's just like, obviously today, normally I would combine and I'm sure a lot of people will. I just couldn't because the layout that I wanted to do for the other series, one of the other layouts that are up today, required two pages, right? And then, um, what else do we have going up today. I have Bert, my planner. He tells me everything. And um, then I also have a Brutus Monroe layout, and I never combine anything uh, for a design team. So it was just like, well, uh, so that's three. Um, I also post on the Brutus Monroe website if you guys uh, ever get a chance. Head over there and check them out. A lot of the designers post there. So you might find some new fun people. Uh, we just have this, like, one little guy that I feel like he just needs to be on here. Because I, I, I hate leaving one. It's always like that lat. You know, you go in, there's two animals left. you got to adopt them both. You can't leave them. <laughs> That's who I am. Um, I want to do fa-la-la-la-la-la-la. But like I said, I do have a lot of things to scrap, but I've realized that I've, I've definitely played it safe. And haven't put a lot of thick stuff. So I think we're okay to grab a little thick on here now. And that is going to do it. Um, let's see. I do believe I want it to go like this. I always feel that the darker color should go at the bottom. Because it like weights it down. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but me. But that is going to do it for today. 
So please don't forget to check everyone else out down below in the comments. Give all the lovely creatives all kinds of love and tell them they rock. And I missed three days. But it's fine. Oh, I didn't get any of those on there. Um, um, huh, I feel like we should, while I'm going over my shoe. So, um, please do all the youtube -y things if you have not already subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you. And if you have, I am truly grateful. I also have a membership portion. If you want to go ahead and join that, click the join button next to my name. Questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and I will get back to you pretty much almost instantaneously because it's always on my phone, which I've got to stop putting it there. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you later with another video. Bye.